Welcome to Voice Bootcamp. Hello, my name is Faisal Khan. I'm the Cisco Collaboration Instructor at Voice Bootcamp. In this video, we're going to give you an introduction to Cisco Unified Contact Center Express. We're going to talk about the, the product overview, the design requirement, and some of the design uh, uh, issues that you might face depending on the scenario. We'll talk about their installation as well as preparation of uh, UCCX server and getting uh, how to get started with uh, your first UCCX deployment. Now we're gonna break down this module into many smaller videos so that it makes easier for you to grab some. So I'm gonna go by module by module. So we're gonna start with a module 1.0, then 1.1, 1.2 and so and so. Now UCCX, which is a Cisco Unified Contact Center Express, provides a secure and high, high, highly available and easy to deploy customer interaction, interaction management solution, uh, AKA call center, for agent up to four, 400. Now this is an integrated contact center in a box that is intended to be both formal as well as informal contact center. Now the UCCX provide options to address multiple contact center functions area, such as it can be used to provide inbound call centers, could be used to provide outbound campaigning, like calling uh, during your elections time or telemarketing. It could be used for sending emails to agent, available agent, or provide an integration of web chat solutions. Now, in addition to that, there are other components that we can have. For example, it has a desktop experience a web interface, Cisco Finance, that provides various high uh, feature rich uh, capability. It, uh, it has a capability for bubble chat, uh, team chat, workflow for digital channel, uh, wrap up time, and whatnot, uh, et cetera. It comes with the reporting capability as well, built in CYC reporting server. It can provide a centralized reporting for your entire contact center, such as uh, you know, setting, uh, getting, uh, uh, understanding your agents, handling of the call, how many calls being abundant, abundant stuff like that. A core uh, uh, operating system that it runs on is a CentOS customized very by Cisco. So you have to use Cisco uh, images to deploy this. It is a uh, uh, highly secured uh, with a, a SHA 256 support, and it can provide single sign-on authentication using Microsoft Active Directory, Azure, and uh, other options or SAML uh, compatible uh, LDAP servers. It does give you a lot of enhancement of uh, API access so that if you are someone who's development side of it, you could use the API to communicate with uh, Cisco Unified Contact Center Express to push and pull uh, various data. It provides advanced uh, supervisor capability such as queue management, uh, calendar management, application management, outbound campaign management, all by the Cisco uh, supervisors using the Finas web interfaces. Now, the history of Cisco UCCX, it was designed, uh, it was actually a third party product that Cisco has acquired. And many different companies have worked on these uh, solutions. So therefore, they have created many different component, uh, which uh, kind of gives you different meanings to different uh, application. So Cisco has their own team that manages the contact center solution. As a result, Cisco contact center solution have different terminology requirement and installation procedures. For instance, if you're using Cisco UCCX desktop component, which heavily rely on Cisco DNS, uh, sorry, uh, a normal DNS server with certain settings that are uh, that needs to be in place. Whereas if you're going to use, let's say, uh, a Cisco UCCX course application, the, uh, the application server itself, well, you don't need, really need DNS to log in. Then you have CTI ports, uh, UCCX use CTI ports like solution to register number of channel with your e -call, call manager, Cisco Unified Communication Manager. Uh, equivalent of that will be IVR port on the UCCX side. In UCC, in the call manager or call control system, we will call the extension as an IPCC extension, whereas on the UCCX side, we often call it ICD line. So although they are uh, they are identified differently, but they are kind of like works together to ensure that you have a full solutions. Now the functional areas, in addition to UCCX, provide many different uh, functions. We talked about that it can be used for inbound calls. So if a company has a toll free number, 
customer could call that toll free number call will come into your yes, the uccx and it will provide uh, uh call, call call center solutions it could be used for um outbound campaign for example when election night comes in you can set up automated dialing so it will uccx will dial a predefined set of numbers and then if they answer the call it will automatically uh connect the call to an available agent either it can direct the call to a queue where the user will hear a music or could reserve an agent in, in advance then con uh, connect the call uh, call the users and connect the call to those reserve agent you also have a web chat capability so if you go to a like a voice bootcamp web chat and you see a chat uh, functions some companies might use that integration with the UCCX so that same agent who are answering calls using the phone could also be using the web chat capability to chat with the users. All right, so that's the overview of our Cisco UCCX uh, solutions. UCCX solution is for businesses for up to 400 agents. If you need more than 400 agents, then you will have to go either on uh, enterprise editions or some other solutions. UCCX, uh, in order to deploy that, you must have Cisco Unified Communication Manager in place because it will use a, a Cisco CUCM CTI manager to register most of its components. All right, so that's the introduction. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next module.